welcome to Belgium. Now this is the view we have. Good morning. Yeah, I'll just go freshen up now and we'll be on our way. Good morning and welcome to Zeebrugge. <laughs> and um, this is the closest spot to where we're going and uh, we docked in Zeebrugge. Um, but our today, our target is to get to Bruges. So I hear we can't walk on the port. So we have to get the buses that I showed you. They are here. Them buses here will take us to the port. And from there, we will be heading to Bruges. And we're spending the day there. We have to be back here. The uh, ship leaves at 6. And we have to board by 5.30. But trust us, <laughs> we'll be here by 4 o'clock. So we are planning on taking you out with us. So let's go see what fun awaits us in Bruges. The weather is cold, but it's dry. And that is the best we can ask for. So... How is your day going? I hope your day is going well. Mm. Remember, I'll always say, even if it's stormy right now, just hang you there. A beautiful rainbow awaits at the end of every storm. So just hang you there. Anyway, are you ready? Let's hit the road. Good morning, honey. Good morning. Finally, we made it out. Yeah. <laughs> One hour later. So yeah. It's a lot of people. The baby. That baby here. Look, just look at that. Oh. So it's quite a short uh, three bus trip to the sports terminal because we're not allowed to walk. So yep, from here we find our way. So the plan here was to get out of the terminal and walk to the train station which we've been reliably informed is really nearby and get on the train for 5 euros I believe to Zebrush which is way cheaper than getting on the transfer bus of MSC or any other. That's the cruise ship right there, still staring at us like the big brother that it is. Nevertheless, on getting out, we asked one of the MSC staff where the train station was located, but we were told that the trains were on strike. So we are hopping on this um, express bus to Bruges. We've just bought ourselves the tickets to hop on the express bus. Um, apparently, the tram, we brought the strike business here. <laughs> the tram or the train, they are on strike. So our only option is a bus, a cruise express. So we've just bought this 20. Three euro, 25. 25 euro each, and for return. So for both of us, 50 euro. So it's what it is still cheaper than uh, buying from the company. I think they were doing promotion yesterday uh, for 34, 34. So yeah, still savings. Every little helps. So we are looking forward to it now. So far, the weather is clement, not as cold as. But the most important thing, as long as it's not raining, we'll be able to achieve something. So. <laughs> That's where we came out from. Now, I don't understand this uh, kiss and ride. People, help me out. Who do you kiss? <laughs> I thought it's park and ride. Oh, God. Spell job says kiss and ride. Okay. So, yeah, it's time to go. I'm looking forward to seeing this city. It was about 20, 25 minutes transfer time. Remember I mentioned that the trains and trams were on strike? Yep, mm -hmm. we just got off the bus now. <laughs> Bruges is our oyster, so let's go explore. So, that same information will relate to other people who came out earlier. However, on the first group uh, that I was on regarding this um, cruise, if you watch my first day at sea, I did mention I joined the face group for this cruise. People now started sending photos of them in the tram and in the train saying that the trams were actually functioning and they were transferring themselves from the uh, port terminal 
to Bruce City for 5 euros. Now, it would be unfair if this information was shared just to get us to use the company's transfer and sister transfer boss. It would really be unfair. But I'll give it to them. I want to believe it's an honest mistake because if it isn't, then that is very, very bad. God, the heavens is about to open. It was actually a, quite a few minutes walk from the bus terminal to the actual Bush City as we are getting into, as you can see there. Now, somebody pinched me. Stepping into this city, <laughs> it felt like we've literally stepped back in time. In fact, there should be people here giving us some dress up for the medieval time because it honestly did look like we are in the times of sounds of music <laughs> or battle of titans or something like that and believe me i loved it i only was missing a costume that's all <laughs> by this time it was all nice and dry no rain just cold but as soon as we stepped in here like i said the heavens opened it rained cats and dogs just watch and see but it didn't stop us we were relentless <laughs> it was beautiful it was just there was something about this city that touched the strings of my heart and this one city i would love to go back to over and over again Trying to spoil our fun, but we'll make the best of it. <laughs> I feel like we've just stepped back in time, like <laughs> we are somewhere out of this century. <sighs> Let's keep going.
focus. <laughs> I know. See the. I tell you, there's something magical about this place. I just love, love, love this city. And I'm looking forward to going back when the weather is more clement. We nosed around for some souvenirs oh my God. and every other thing that we could go home with. Because we can't go home without a souvenir from Zubrush and Frick Magnet is one of our basic ones. There was so much to see, sights and sound. If you love the medieval times, then this city is for you. Hmm, I loved it. The rain refused to stop. The winds joined, but we are adamant we were going to see it through. <laughs> Nobody told me that chocolate was a thing in Belgium. But well, suddenly the whole main street is full of chocolate shops and apparently they are made there. So I got to learn that Belgium is renowned for its chocolate. Now, I'm not a chocolate person, so please don't blame me. But I did try out a few and they were yummy.
you have to visit Bruges. Like it's magical. I say it again. If you love things around the medieval, then this city is for you. Every site was picture perfect. Truly, even with the weather, it still did not spoil it. <sighs> I surely will be back. Oh my God. worried for this building but it's been here if it has stood the test of time like right into the canal if there's an overflow what happens We are defying the winds. can see we are not the only ones defying the rains here. <laughs> back really tired <laughs> the heavens opened on us and the rain poured mightily in a brush 
<laughs> yeah, so we came back. We were freezing cold. We wanted some shower. I was starving. So. Mm. <laughs> anyway, so we are ready now for the evening. Um, apparently today is the 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s night and um I, I didn't know about that so i've tried to come as close as i can a touch of whatever year it is <laughs> including 2023 and we booked a show for the evening that would be at uh, 2100 is it 2115 9 15 p.m at the delphi theater um i can't remember what the title is but i'll take you along it's not yet. I think it's just about half past seven now. The idea is to try Carousel Lounge to see if there's space. The thing about there is beautiful. I like the big band, but the space, <laughs> one hour beforehand, is full. So it's hard to find a space to sit there. So I'd rather go to other places. There are other places. I love the the atrium area, you know, where the whole shiny stuff is. I like that bit. There's um. A piano and uh, always a singer there either as a guitarist a singer or a pianist and a singer i love that so sometimes i just like to hang around there so let's go all nice and warm in our cozy cabin have you subscribed if you have not go and click on the subscribe button below and the notification bell that way you don't miss a thing Remember, it rained on me today trying to bring all of this content. So please give me a like. Hey, see my bobo. Bobo, can you see? Now you, Biko. That's me in my 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s night. <laughs> That's as close as I can get. Let's go, people. Journey was in the song you're all gonna love, and now I'm sure opportunity to have a bit of a sing song. But now we need you to give our performers a lovely welcome as we present to you Jukebox Live! Here we go! Andiamo. So after an entertaining time in the Delphi Theater, we came out to the Indus Promenade on deck 6 to join the Sunshine Party. Now, I must confess, of all the days I spent on MSC Erubia, this was our best day and evening of all. It started with a beautiful time in Bruges. Even with the rain, we still loved it too. All night back to back what we love to do. Sing and dance. <laughs> It didn't stop, and I'm sure my husband had a blast as well. He moved like I've never seen him for a long time. <laughs> Come on, let's party all night long. After our time at the sunshine party on the promenade lounge, we headed half an hour before time to the carousel lounge where 
we were thoroughly entertained by the big band and Mark Rubery. I hope I didn't mother his name. <laughs> yeah, sitting can be challenging. You have to be there way ahead of time to find a seat. But we enjoyed it. And we were back to the promenade deck to finish up where we started. Like I said, this was our best day and evening entertainment because we are involved in it through and through. Yes, we had a fabulous time. So, have you subscribed? If you have not, go and click on the subscribe button below and the notification bell. That way you don't miss a thing. Remember, if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like. When you re react to it, by giving me a like, the algorithm recognizes that it is watchable, it's enjoyable, it's informative, and pushes it out to others. So, go on, give me a little like. I love to hear from you in the comment section. So, let me hear from you in the comment section. Share, share, share. Till I see you next time. Don't forget, life is for living, for love and laughter. <laughs> Take care. Bye. Don't forget to click on those videos popping up right now. you find it really entertaining. I promise. Hand on hearts. <laughs> see ya.